Hello, me YouTube beauties. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna to be doing a video focused on testing out YouTuber favorites. I don't have, I think, a very, like a full, full face of products, but I have most of them, which I am like, so proud of. So um, some of these are new products, some of these are products I already have, but if you guys like these types of videos, be sure to give this one a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before we hop in because I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 p.m. Mount Standard Time. So let's go ahead and test out some YouTube favorites. I like doing these videos because I like to see if like, a product is worth the hype or not. Some of the things that I hear, I'm like, is it really like too good to be true? But we're gonna be testing them out today. So I am gonna do my best to remember which YouTuber said what about different products. But like I said, I do have some mix of old and new products. But first to prime my skin, I'm gonna use the Revlon Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. I know that Taylor loves this primer and so do I. It's like one of the best primers I've ever tried from the drugstore. This truly does fill in the pores, makes your skin super soft and ready for foundation. So I do like it. I do think that it's worth it. For foundation, I'm actually going to use a mix of two different foundations that I've been really loving lately. The first is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. Casey Holmes loves this foundation and the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. This is loved by so many people on YouTube. I do like to mix the two because number one, this is a little bit too like luminous for me and this is a little bit dark. So I like to mix the two. Am I like running out of this? Oh, that's crazy. I, if so, it feels like I don't have a whole lot of this foundation left. I try not to use too much of this. It is easy to use too much and look kind of like fake. <laughs> so I try not to do that and then use only a little bit. So I did have to place an order on Ulta, I think I well, no, it's like a combination. I got some of the stuff from Sephora and some of the stuff from Ulta, but it was pretty cool because I only had to purchase a few things. The rest of them, like I had, I don't know. I feel like I'm very swayed on products when I see someone that I like to watch on YouTube, really, really love it. Makes me very excited about a product. However, sometimes the hype is just promoting and marketing and, you never really truly know if something is good for your skin type until you try it out. So even though something may work really well for someone that I watched like that Tayla who has really dry skin, it may not work on my skin because I do have oily skin. So you gotta keep that in mind when you are watching your favorite YouTubers and figuring out like what products might be suitable for your own skin type. For concealer, I actually have this brand new Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer that Tati just raved about. She did a video on this not that long ago and I was so interested in this. She said it looked so nice and I was like, I want that concealer. And I have mine in the shade 115 Light Nude. All right, this is what the concealer looks like. I do like the uh, Milani foundation. So hopefully I'll like this one. And it looks like the shade I got's pretty good for me. It's always nerve wracking, like getting shades online. You never know when it shows up if you pick the right one. Hmm. That is really nice coverage. It does have a little bit of a fragrance and I would say it's a thicker formula. I can definitely feel it sticking to the beauty blender as I'm blending it out, but it looks really nice. It's not creasing under my eyes or anything. Looks pretty good. I might take it on the center of my face as well, just to add some light to the center of my face. The doe foot is not a huge doe foot like a lot of them are lately, which is kind of nice. It's nice to not have this ginormous doe foot that you're trying to apply your concealer with. I also think a doe foot like this helps with not applying too much product because less of it is picked up by the wand. I definitely need to set this because I can see it creasing just a little bit. I'm gonna take the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Powder that everyone loves. Like there's just so many people that love this on YouTube. So it's hard to name just one. I know that Taylor's loved it, Casey Holmes, a lot of people that really like this powder. And I'm gonna set down my face with this. This is for sure become my favorite powder that I've ever used. I save it for special occasions though. <laughs> I'm like, this is too good to use every single day and I'm gonna go through it way too fast if I do use it every day. So I do not 
wear this every day because it would just go like so fast. I was kind of debating between the shade 100 and 200 because 100 looked a little light, but maybe not. I've heard really good things about this bronzer. I was hoping it smelled nice, but it, I don't think it does. <laughs> I hear that it's really good for fair skin tones, which I have. I'm not really sure how pigmented this bronzer is, so I'm going a little lightly. This is a pretty color. I would definitely say 100 is for very fair people like me. <laughs> if you're any darker than me, I don't think that this would work well for you because you, I mean, I guess you can build it up and it is building. It's definitely a bronzer for fair skin tones. And the shade is really nice. It's got this like neutral tone where it can either work as a contour or a bronzer which I really like. So I do like this. It blended really nicely on top of everything. I forgot to put this on. I'm, I'm, <laughs> this is okay. I saw this from Matt Taylor. She said that she uses Old Spice only as deodorant because it only how it's the, the only brand that helps her actually not sweat. And I need that in my life because I've just been like hopping around from deodorant to deodorant. Cannot do natural deodorants. They don't work for me. I don't even, I can't. And I also cannot convince myself to spend like $20 on a deodorant. It just doesn't make sense to me. But this is a very new Old Spice. It ha It's the shade Wilderness with Lavender. And it says it's brand new. I know that Taylor put it on her Snapchat a couple days ago and I went out and had to buy it. And then it's on the front it says, antiperspirant smells like manly lavender smells. So I had to get it. This is the first time I've bought a man's deodorant. Chris uses Old Spice. It does smell very girly. Like this lavender scent is, does smell very nice. But I put it in the cart at Target the other day. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna buy this deodorant. Chris was like, it's Old Spice. And I'm like, I know, it smells like lavender. So I'm gonna test it out and I'll let you know how it does because I like lavender and I'm not super attached to a deodorant yet. So maybe, maybe it'll convince me to come over to the Old Spice side. <laughs> For blush, I don't have a brand new blush. So I'm gonna use the one that I've been using like all month. It's the Becca Mineral Blush in this shade Songbird. Perfect for fall. I also know back in the day, people used to love this. Like Manny MUA, I don't watch him anymore, but they're not like a set reason for that, by the way. I just, I don't know. Like, I feel like I go in waves of who I like to watch on YouTube, but he really liked this blush also. For highlights, let's bring out the Mary Luminizer. I know I've been using this on camera a lot, but this is like a staple for everyone on YouTube. This was the OG highlight back in the day. And for good reason, like it is a nice highlight. You can build it up to have it be super intense. I like to play it more on the more subtle side. I mean, it's still definitely there. You can see it, but it's not like in your face. I'm gonna use the NARS. Oh, I don't have a, ooh. I don't have an eyeshadow palette. So I guess I'll just use this bronzer for my crease shade, but I'm gonna take the NARS, what is this called? Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I believe Kathleen Lights really liked this product. And that's, I think, like originally why I bought it. And I'm gonna set that down with the same ah, Makeup Forever powder. All right, let's do brows. I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Ultra Precision Brow Pencil. I've been really loving this lately for my brows. It's what I've been using like every single day. And Tati likes it, that Taylor likes it. Too far in, no. Okay, it's always really hard to do my eyebrows with my mirror so far away. And I have the shade Neutral Brown. Really need to do my eyebrows. They're just too fluffy for their own good. Brows are sisters, not twins, people. I'm gonna set them down with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Kathleen Lights loves this. This is pretty much like the holy grail consensus brow gel on YouTube and has been for a very, very long time. All right, let's use the City Bronzer in the crease as well. Yeah, I'm feeling like kind of a lighter look. I don't want to go all out with my eye look today. This would be a very good bronzer for beginners because you, you can build this up as much as you want. You can be heavy handed with it and not have it look super patchy or harsh. All right, yeah, you can definitely be heavy handed with this bronzer in the crease because like it took a lot to build this 
color up, which I'm not upset about. It just kind of looks like a blown out, kind of soft crease color, which I like. All right, for mascara, I done messed up, you guys. Somehow I ended up with three. <laughs> So I bought this one. This is the Essence Lash Princess, but when I ordered it online, I didn't realize that it was the waterproof version. I don't really do waterproof. Maybe I'll use it on my lower lash line because I, I do think that it is helpful to have waterproof mascara when you need it for like weddings or like times that you may cry, I don't know. Um, but I wanted to get the Essence Lash Princess, the false lash effect. It's the green one that, that Tayla raves about and they actually had a sale, buy one, get one half off. So one was five bucks, one was like 250 so it's like fine I'll do it you guys know how picky I am when it comes to mascaras I love my covergirl lash blast fusion but I wanted to give it a try and this is half the price of that one so if I like it that's great I'll keep using that one and like I said I'm gonna use the waterproof one on my lower lashes this was out of stock everywhere I had to order it online I'm shocked that it was in stock online um, but I'm excited to test it out. The gal in the store said that this mascara is a dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Here's what the wand looks like. It's not rubberized or anything. Usually I use a rubber wand. I really hope this doesn't clump my lashes. I hate that when mascaras do that. This wand is definitely longer than I'm used to. It's like, ugh, what's happening? Also, I've never used the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, so I can't tell you how this one compares. <laughs> Typically I like my mascaras to lengthen my lashes and separate them. I'm not, like I like a little bit of volume, but I do not want my lashes to clump together at all. It's making my lashes long. It just is a little bit more, it has a little more volumizing fibers than I'm used to. I do like that this mascara works really nicely on the first layer because you could even leave it like this and not put a second layer on and you would have nice, you know, lashes for the day. You don't have to build this product up very much for it to look nice. My lashes do look long. They're just like, it's a little bit more volumizing than I'm used to. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's just different, you know? Yeah, this side's looking real false lashy. I do like this mascara. I wonder if Chris would be able to tell a difference because it does look similar to the CoverGirl one that I always use. I would say that the, it's a little bit more like fibrous, you know, like it, it can clump your lashes if you can't stop adding some. The CoverGirl one that I always use is pretty good about not adding too much product, but my, uh, my lashes look very nice. They look a little bit more volumized, lengthened, separated, like they look really nice and I can totally see the hype behind this product. I'm gonna remember that this is the one I opened and put this green one away from me so I don't open two. <laughs> I do have a eyeliner that I have not tried before. This is the LA Girl Glide Gel Liner and I have the shade Brown. It's this one. I really like the Maybelline liners, but I wanted to give this one a try because it's also pretty inexpensive. And I don't know, I just wanted to try. <laughs> oh, it's very creamy. Yeah, that's very nice. I wanted to go with brown because I knew that was like the most neutral type of eyeliner that I normally wear. It went on very creamy. I'm curious to see if it lasts on the waterline because that's like kind of the issue with Liners, I like the Maybelline ones. They do tend to come off my lash, my lash line like a couple hours into wearing them, so I do have to reapply, but maybe this one will stay a little better. I don't know. I know Tati loves this liner. This has become like a that Taylor and Tati recommended. I don't know, I just trust their, I trust their opinions on things, so. I'm gonna take the False Lash Effect Waterproof Mascara. I'm scared of you. I'm just applying this to my lower lash line. I don't know, I was nervous if this formula was different at all and I didn't want that to affect my thoughts of the mascara since I got the wrong one. Went on nice. I like my lower lashes, very pretty. Yeah, I would, this is a good mascara, you guys. For lipstick, I'm gonna take the NARS Audacious Lipstick in the shade Anita. This is just a cult favorite. Everyone has talked about these lipsticks and I never hear people talk about this anymore. Probably because there's other lip formulas and it's not just this one. 
This is a perfect go-to, like summery neutral lip. I really, really do like that lipstick. And the last product I have to test out is the Urban Decay D Slick Oil Control Makeup Setting Spray. Casey Holmes loves this. I have only ever tried the regular all-nighter setting spray, but I wanted to give this one a shot and see if it actually kept me a little bit more matte than the other one. Let's give this one a test. You can see why people are be like using fans for people that use sprays a lot. All right, you guys, this is the finished makeup look. I just want to highlight some of the products that I think are standout products for me. Definitely, if this keeps on my waterline, I really like the color and it went on so creamy. So I really like the liner. I also really, really love the Essence Mascara. Like my lashes look very nice. They do look like I'm wearing false lashes because they're keeping the curl. They're just like spread out and long and voluminous and it's just a whole thing. So I do really like this mascara. I also love the foundation combination, this bronzer. I would say that I have to test out this concealer a little bit more. I do see it creasing a little more than it was originally when I first applied it. So I have to see if this wears well throughout the day. I do like the coverage of it. And maybe I just need to apply like a different powder or something. We'll have to see about this, this whole Old Spice deodorant thing. This felt the exact same as the all-nighter, like the spray was the same. Hopefully it keeps me matte, you know? The other one kept my makeup on for a really long time. I hope this keeps my makeup on for a really long time and also controls my oil a little bit more. So there you have it. That is all of the products that I wanted to test out on camera. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. I hope you had a wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.